In a previous episode of Signal Outdoor Shop Talk, I had some issues with my alcohol stove in the cold. I've done some research and made some changes, and today I'm going to show you how to use an alcohol stove in the cold. So stay tuned. Okay, so it's about 23 degrees Fahrenheit today, so about negative 5 Celsius. It's not super cold, but cold enough that uh, it's going to give you a little hard time with the alcohol stove. So what I did wrong last time to start with is um, I didn't keep my fuel cold. So if you're going to use your alcohol stove, if you don't keep your alcohol in your pocket the entire time, about 20 minutes before you plan to cook, go ahead and put your alcohol in your and your stove, if you can, in your front pocket or in a pocket that's just close to your body. Keep it there for about 20 minutes to keep it warm. The reason for this is the alcohol uh, at around 50 degrees Fahrenheit or around um, 10 degrees Celsius I believe will uh, it'll stop giving off these vapors those real flammable vapors so you notice in the summer when you put a match to your alcohol stove you get this woof right away and it lights up easy the, so the alcohol stops giving those vapors off when it starts to drop below uh, you know 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius so you need to warm up your fuel uh, prior to using the stove and ultimately as well if you can uh, warm up your your stove whatever you're using as well So that was the first thing I did wrong So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer my My stove to I already have my alcohol in my pocket. I'm gonna Throw my stove in there for a minute while I get the rest set up So the next thing I did wrong was I uh, I put my stove right on the snow and that sucks all of the heat out of the stove and it cools things down even further so I was able to get my stove started when the fuel was warm but the but my stove went out and I found that I, I wouldn't take a spark anymore it wouldn't light uh, when, I, when I hit my striker against it and I was super confused as to why it wouldn't light so so it's because I had it right on the snow so what I did was I took some sheet metal and I made this platform uh, that, I, that I can set my stove on but I also uh, had seen in a recent video from Shug that he had this platform that was on a little tiny tripod that he used on his stove. So I know that I had a little tripod that came with my gimbal that I use with my camera here. So I'm going to use that tripod and then a little um, mount here you'll see uh, to keep it off the ground and then I can also level it out. So I'm going to set that up next here. I'll show you what that looks like. So I have this little tripod here that came with my gimbal. I have this little ball joint that I use for a light when I'm out uh, filming at night. And I screw that onto here. So this is stuff I already have with me on my trip for my filming gear. So we put that down. And I have this little platform that I made. Drilled a little hole in it. And that sits on there like so. And I have this little nut I bring with me. Now I have a little platform for my stove that's on a little ball joint so I don't have to worry about if it's on level ground I can just loosen it up and level it out as needed. So there. So now we can set our stove on this and it's isolated from the ground. The ground's not going to suck the heat away from the alcohol stove. Okay, so now we have the alcohol stove isolated from the cold ground. But the next issue we're going to have is that when we set the pot on top of the stove, it's going to all the cold water in the stove or any snow that's on the bottom of the stove is going to suck the heat from the alcohol stove as well. So the next thing we need to do to isolate and minimize the contact surface um, the, of the pot onto the stove is I use some little, um, this is wire used for hanging pitchers. It's 18 gauge wire um, and I just bent up these little clips that go over the edge of the stove and what this does I just press those in on the stove like so so what those do is sit on the stove and the stove rests on these wire so it's got very minimal contact with the stove and it won't uh, it won't act like a, act like a big heat sink uh, for the body of the stove now we're going to go ahead and fill up our stove. 
put about half the alcohol I brought with me in here. Actually, I'm probably going to do uh, three quarters. It takes a little bit more in the cold to boil up some water. I've heard nightmare stories that if you overfill these, it'll start squirting the alcohol, start forcing the alcohol out of these pinholes. So you got to be careful not to overfill them. It's never happened to me yet, but, but you never know. Okay, so if it's real cold, you're gonna to wanna to use a match. You won't really be able to use a sparker as easily. So what you're gonna do is light your match, and if it's real cold, you can hold the match inside the stove and get everything nice and warm. So that's what we're gonna do here. You can't see it on camera, but it's going. Yep, it's going. It's going. I can feel the heat. It's real hard to tell. Now we're going to go ahead and put our tin foil around it while it warms up here. And we're going to get our water and we're going to let this come up to temp. you bring waterproof matches this almost didn't work for me because they weren't waterproof so always have waterproof matches with you so I, sh I think I should have put more alcohol in this it went out on me now so because we're out of alcohol but I think it's warm enough to make us a cup of coffee here That should be warm enough for a cup of coffee. Since I got the idea from Shug, I figure I better bring the Medallia d'Oro. <laughs> So we didn't achieve a rolling boil, but it's definitely, you can see the steam coming off. It definitely warmed it up hot enough to make coffee. So I should have put a little more alcohol in and I kind of just looked this up and uh, figured out what changes I'm going to make to, to fix the issues I had last time. And this is my first go at, at those changes. So just put a little more alcohol in and in the winter to make sure that uh, you get a boil. Um, my windshield was subpar I need to fix that next but maybe it was just the fact that I didn't have a good windshield around the stove um, to protect it from the wind as to why we didn't get a boil but it was real close to boiling so I'm calling this a success so why would you want to bring an alcohol stove I mean this looks like a lot of hassle some of you might be saying an alcohol stove geez all this stuff you, you have to know to run the stove 
I love the quiet. When I get out here, I don't want to listen to a, a jet engine roaring. So for me, personally, I, I like the alcohol stove. And as you guys can't tell already, I'm a tinker. I love to tinker. So I just love to have little, bring little gadgets and gizmos with me that allow me to tinker and I like to learn. So alcohol stove uh, fits my personality perfectly. So. So I hope hope you guys learned something. I know I did. And remember, I'm always here to help you guys separate the signal from the noise. I'll see you in the next one. Later.